Black Widow. This spider is the most venomous in North America and carries a neurotoxin that rivals some of the deadliest animals on the planet. Perhaps you've heard that the red hourglass is an omen that their bite leaves you only an hour to live. There are many horror stories about the fearsome Black Widow, but what if I told you that everything you thought you knew about this spider was wrong? I'm Spencer Hoffman, and it's my mission to discover the secrets of the natural world. Along my journeys, I've come to learn that many of our planet's more venomous creatures are extremely misunderstood, leading to mass fear and even targeting these beautiful animals for destruction. Among my most favorite invertebrates on the planet are the widow spiders, and I think it's finally time to see just what the truth is about these venomous creatures. What I've got right here is a black widow spider, probably one of the most misunderstood arachnids on the planet. What I'm actually gonna do, take her out real quick and we'll see if the things you've heard about this spider are actually true. There's a stick here to take her out real quick. Hey you, you okay? Come on up. Look at that. Right there you can already see on her abdomen that bright red hourglass, the famous mark of the Black Widow. Now it's long been said that that hourglass tells you if you're bitten by this spider, you only have an hour to live, which is not entirely true. In fact, unless you are literally on your deathbed and an hour away from death, if you're bitten by this spider, you certainly have more than an hour to live because believe it or not, this spider is actually not that deadly. And I, 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 I figure you probably were expecting me to say that. With these kind of videos, I usually tell you how the thing you think is deadly is really not that deadly. So what does that hourglass actually mean? Well, you can see how she's kind of sitting here on this stick. Now she's a little bit sluggish, a little cold, I think. It's, you know, it's December right now when I'm filming this, so it's a little bit chilly. But you can see she sits upside down and they'll do that in the web as well. They'll kind of sit upside down. That's because you can see that huge abdomen there. They are uh, a little bit top heavy, but that consistent mark is always on the bottom. And the reason being, if a predator is like rooting around in their habitat, they'll see that striking red on jet black, and that contrast gives this spider absolutely no camouflage. It is meant to stick out because it's what's known as aposematic coloration. It's warning colors that warn a potential predator that this spider is dangerously venomous. Now, I just said that this spider is not that deadly, but what if I told you that the black widow spider possesses a neurotoxin that is 10 times more toxic than the venom of a rattlesnake. You probably wouldn't believe me, right? But what if both the toxicity of this spider and their non-deadly nature, what if both of those things could be true at the same time? Now, the reason that's true is a little thing called a lethal dose. Now, you've probably heard of like a lethal dose of cyanide or something, right? If you've watched spy movies, venoms have lethal doses as well. And you compare this spider to a rattlesnake. This spider is absolutely tiny. This thing is smaller than the size of a grape, but a rattlesnake, you can get four or five. They've recorded upwards of six foot and larger rattlesnakes, and they have huge heads, huge venom glands. So this might have 10 times more potent of a venom, but the rattlesnake has hundreds of times more venom, probably even thousands of times more venom than this little spider does. In fact, one bite of rattlesnake venom is gonna produce more volume of venom than this spider has body mass. That goes to show just how much more venom a rattlesnake has. So a black widow bite, you are very unlikely to receive a lethal dose of venom. But from a rattlesnake, you might get enough venom to kill 10 people if you get a full tank from a really large, large snake. The important thing to take away from this in venomous bites is that the dosage makes the poison. A black widow is extremely toxic, but it's not gonna kill you. Now, of course, the question is, are these spiders actually mean? One of my favorite things to do with Black Widows when I'm presenting for the camera or for a live audience is to handle these incredible spiders. What I'm gonna do is I'm put the spider in my bare hand and we'll see if she is actually willing to use that incredibly toxic venom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gently coax her onto my hand here. There you go. You can see once she's there, she'll move around a little bit. But widows, strikingly enough, are actually a very placid group of spiders. This one's a little bit sluggish, but even still, to walk around, and they're not the most agile walkers. They tend to like to stay in their webs. But see, she uses those front two legs to kind of feel around her environment. What's incredible about that is a lot of arachnids do not use vision to interact with their world. See, you and I, we're very, very visual creatures. You know, we, uh, we're very drawn to things that we can see. And 
as a result, humans actually have some of the best vision in the animal kingdom. You know, we're not the best, but we're among the better eyesight in the animal kingdom. A black widow can see, but they don't see very well. She uses those front two legs to actually interact because they're very tactile animals. They're hunting through vibrations and by touch and feel to understand their world. The world to a black widow is very, very different than it is to you or me. And that's one of the things that makes these animals so incredibly fascinating, is just the experience that it is to be a black widow is so drastically different than it is to be a human. It's, it's incredible to just look at them and watch them behave and to appreciate this is actually a living creature walking all over me. And of course, what makes this all the more exciting is this little tiny creature has evolved over millions of years, a toxic venom a chemical power packed inside this little animal that can kill vertebrates. Snakes, lizards, frogs, things like that have been found in black widow webs tons and tons of times. And there are human deaths. There are human deaths to the black widow, but very, very few and extremely, extremely rare. And usually it's because of a very averse reaction to the venom and not the toxicity itself. If you're like immune compromised or something, you don't want to be bitten by a black widow. But look at that. Gorgeous little black widow spider. Beautiful animal and a key part of the secret world all around us. Not to be feared, but to be admired and respected. Absolutely amazing. Like most venomous creatures, the black widow is a simple animal just trying to make its way in the universe. And while I don't recommend that anybody just go out and handle them, hopefully, after seeing this, you'll treat these beautiful creatures with respect and admiration, but from a healthy distance. I can definitely understand being relatively uncomfortable around spiders like black widows, but one of the things that helped me a ton to get more comfortable with these eight-legged creatures are the jumping spiders. If you want to learn more about jumping spiders and hopefully become more comfortable with these kinds of creatures that might be in your area, check out this video right here. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.